the last section to a business plan is the appendix. And the appendix is basically a section where you can put any of the supporting documents for the main sections that you had just done already. Any supporting documents will go here. And the appendix, is important to note, is not limited by any kind of size standard. Right? So the main business plan, you want it to be short and succinct. You want the reader to not get really bogged down in, in many details. So the appendix is where you can put some of the details of your business plan. Uh, for example, if you had um, uh, an LLC formed, you don't need in the business description to attach that formation documentation. You can just put it in the appendix and note, hey, we formed an LLC, see the formation docs in the appendix. Uh, same thing if you had a product and there was a design to the product, put it in the appendix. Or you have a restaurant and there's a menu, so you can kind of show an example of what your menu would look like in the prices, you can put it in the appendix. So the appendix is a great place to really add the detail that you might have wanted to go into during the business plan, but you felt you didn't really want to put it in there, right? It didn't fit or it would have really bulked up the business plan. So keep the business plan, the main sections, pretty concise, pretty short. The appendix is where you can where you can feel free to put all the other details, right? Just make sure you make a note. So some of the things that I always tell people to include in the appendix because they're going to be the same no matter what business you're getting into, we know that a bank is gonna to wanna to see the resume of all the owners, right? A very short, brief resume, the history, right? You have the management section, but this is the actual resume. Um, we also know that the bank is going to want to see a personal financial statement from all the owners. And, and yes, if you're going to a bank, they're going to have their own form that you might put that onto, but have the numbers available so you can fill that form out right there. Uh, if you're going to an investor, they're going to want to know what assets you have as well. Uh, this is important information to them to see how strong you are of, of a risk. Um, we also know that they're going to want the last three years of your personal tax return just to see what your income has been over the past few years. Um, and as I said, you can feel free to put in all the other pertinent informations. Uh, one thing I always tell people is if you're getting sources from the internet, uh, put a source page in your appendix, you know, just a page of all the internet addresses where you might have found some of your market research. Because what you want to do is you want to make sure that whoever is reading your business plan can follow with you on the details if they want. It's their choice, right? If they are concerned about a certain detail, which an underwriter would be concerned about any kind of numbers you're putting out, they can then go to the appendix and see for themselves from that website or from those documents that you have where you're getting this information, where your reference materials are. Um, but again, leave it, to, leave it to the reader to decide if they want more information on a particular subject. You're just simply providing a spot where you can put that information so that they have it and it's readily available.